Today's question is one that I get all the time. Can Revit open AutoCAD files and can Revit files be opened in AutoCAD? So we're really talking about file interoperability between AutoCAD and Revit. Let's go ahead and jump over to the software and I'll take the time to demonstrate and answer this particular question. Let's start first with taking Revit files into AutoCAD. Now I'm in Revit right now and if I go to the save for this project you can see that the native file format for Revit is RVT. If I switch over to my AutoCAD environment and try to do an open, you'll see that RVT is not one of the file types that I can open. So we will not be able to open a native Revit file inside AutoCAD. Now if I jump over to my import dialog box in Revit, you'll see I have many different files that I can import, but again, RVT is not a supported file format. Therefore, I will need to export from Revit to create a file format AutoCAD can support or will open. Thankfully, Revit has an excellent export to DWG option. I can export from 3D views and get 3D solids. I can export from 2D plan or elevation views and get 2D line work. Or I can export from sheets and get model space, paper space, viewports, and external references. To do an export, we go to the application menu drop down and we have lots of different formats. For DWG, we want to go to CAD formats. First thing we set are the export settings, which allows us to control layers, lines, hatch patterns, fonts, and all kinds of stuff about how this goes to AutoCAD. Then we can determine what exactly we're exporting. All of the sheets, all of the views, or maybe one particular view. In this case, we're going to do the current view as our export. We give it a name and we set the version of AutoCAD that we're exporting to. And with that, Revit will generate the necessary DWG files for this particular view. Keep in mind for the export I'm doing now, it's going to set up about five different, six different DWGs. You can see those here. This is the main DWG with the others XREF attached to set up the model space, paper space environment. So there's the main DWG. Again, you can see it's paper space with a title block, an actual block entity in AutoCAD. If I switch over to model space and zoom out, here's some of the XREFs that are attached for those floor plan views. And let's open up the external reference to see what Revit actually creates for the DWG file. Taking a closer look, we have blocks for the furniture, for other symbols, we have hatch patterns, we have line types, dimension styles. We even have all of the layers that were defined based on those settings in Revit here inside the AutoCAD DWG. Now jumping back over to Revit, we can also export 3D. So I'm going to go ahead and export this full 3D view. Same thing, back to CAD formats, DWG file. One setting I want to change is I want to tell it to create solids instead of a poly mesh. And just like before, we're doing the current view, set the file name and the file format. With that, it's going to go ahead and export all of the 3D geometry from this view as solids to an AutoCAD DWG. Let's now go back over to AutoCAD and open that file up and see how it looks. So give it just a second to open and there it is. The colors aren't great, but that's based on the uh, layer settings from the export. But you can see here if we zoom in a little bit that we have solids, we have some blocks, but we have a, we, overall we do have a 3D representation of that building in the AutoCAD environment. So that's how we take Revit files over to an AutoCAD environment. We do it via export. Let's go ahead and take a look at it the other way around. So in this scenario, we need to get the AutoCAD files into Revit. Now if I go to the open dialog box, you'll see that there's different file formats I can open. Most of these are native Revit files. You could probably export an ADSK from AutoCAD and open that. But you're probably going to want to work with the native DWG, which we can do in Revit. We can link DWG files and we can import DWG files. Import associates all of the data to the Revit file, where link maintains a relationship similar to an external reference. So jumping back over to AutoCAD, this is the floor plan that I want to bring over to Revit. And before I do this, I just want to point out or mention 
that you can take AutoCAD files and export them to different formats like IFC for 3D models of walls, doors, and windows from AutoCAD architecture, or FBX files, which maintain things like cameras and materials, or the SAT file, which is good for a 3D format as well. So we can export to any of those formats for use inside Revit in addition to the supported DWG. In this case, we're going with the native DWG and we're going to link it similar to an XREF, which is probably the best practice for bringing DWGs over to Revit. So I'm linking the file in to my level one floor plan view because it's a 2D floor plan view of the plan. And I'm gonna go ahead and just make some adjustments here in Revit. One is I linked it based on origin because I want all the other floor plans I bring in to line up. Because of that, I need to move my elevation views to align with the floor plan at the origin point inside Revit. As you can see, this is pretty easy to do and will remove confusion later as I switch between different views or bring in other DWG files. Now there's one more setting I want to change before I bring in the additional DWG files. And that is, I want to switch to the south elevation view. I'll grab my level marks, pull them closer to the CAD file, and then I want to adjust level 2 to match the proper elevation that's been defined in the AutoCAD DWG file set. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and change level 2 to a 15 foot 4 elevation. At this point, I'll go ahead now and switch over to my level 2 view in Revit. I'll go back to my link CAD and grab the level 2 floor plan drawing. Make sure I set it to origin to origin so it lines up with level 1. Give it just a second to import. And I want, to I want to point out real quickly that you can turn off imported files from one view to another. So here in level 2 I'm seeing both levels, even though one is grayed out a little bit. I can easily go into my view settings. Under imported categories I can turn off level 1 so that it doesn't hinder my view when I'm in this particular uh, level 2 setup. The point here is that I'm bringing in the different CAD files. I'm seeing them in multiple views so that as I start overlaying 3D BIM geometry. I can use the CAD file as reference to do that on any level or from any view. So I'll bring in my south elevation view just to really drive home this point. Again using origin to origin for import. If I zoom in close you can see it lines right up with those elevation marks, lines right up with my uh, floor plan views. And again I can start leveraging this data to build up a BIM model. So let's go ahead and switch over to my floor plan level 1. And I'll give you a quick introduction to how Revit can utilize the CAD line work to build up BIM geometry. So for example, I can take something like a wall. I can use my pick line tool, uh, set my wall type, set my location lines, so we'll work off finished face exterior. And by just selecting line work from the CAD file, I can start generating wall or object based geometry. So it makes it a lot easier than trying to draw all of this stuff from scratch. You can do the same thing with grid lines and other geometry in the model. So if I switch over to 3D here, you can see the walls I've created and how they overlay with the different DWGs that I've imported. Now another example of imported DWG that I always get asked about is uh, detail views, wall section views from AutoCAD. You can set up a new drafting view, which is kind of like a blank working environment that isn't associated to the model. You can then link in or import the DWG file you want. So in this case, we've linked in an AutoCAD DWG detail. Maybe we don't have time to redraw it or we want to keep people detailing in an AutoCAD environment. That's fine. We link it in, we place it uh, in a view, then we place that on a sheet. So that's my quick summary of how Revit and AutoCAD file interoperability works. Hopefully that gives you a better understanding of things. And thank you so much for watching.